Hey guys, Corv Bross, and today we're doing part two of testing out the shotgun buff that's come on the new season of Rainbow Six Siege. And in the last episode, we tested these shotguns. We found out some of them had big buffs, some of them had medium sized buffs, and some actually had nerfs. And today we'll be testing out the M870, the SGQCB, along with some community testing that has been requested in the last episode. So first up is the M870. This is available for Jaeger, Bandit, Thorn, and Century. And the patch notes for this say that it's getting buffed in pellet spread for ADS and hipfire. However, my test results show no meaningful change between the old and the new. And there might be a tiny improvement, but I don't think it would make any difference in damage output. And it's in the margin of error for just simply the randomness of the pellet spread. And then for the hipfire, it's very similar. We do see an improvement here. There's more pellets towards the center of the target and it's a touch tighter than before. However, it is marginally improved, especially compared to the other shotguns in the previous video. Up next is the SG QCB. This is available for Twitch, Lion, Doc, Rook, and Grim. And personally, I'm expecting to see this get similar buffs to what the Supernova and the ITA 12L got in the last video. And we do see an improvement while aiming down the sights, with the pellet spread definitely being reduced and actually bringing it in line with the Supernova. And then it's the same story with the hip fire, as you can definitely see a reduction in the pellet spread. And personally, I would actually say that the ITA 12L, the Supernova, and this shotgun, the SGQCB, are now essentially the same when it comes to their pellet spread between them all. There is no longer much of a definition there. It is going to be down to their recoil that makes them unique now. Now we've got some community suggestions. The first one is that we should fire off the FO12 shotgun as fast as possible because that's how players will use it. So here is an example of me not controlling recoil, firing off as fast as possible. And then we've got a second one where we actually fire off with some sort of recoil control. And these are the old and the new. Another community suggestion was to test out Frost and Pulse's shotgun because maybe there's some secret changes in there as we have seen the patch notes have been wrong in places. So we'll test out the aim down sights for Frost and it looks to be the same, just the randomness of the pellets of course being different. Then we've got the hip fire, again this looks to be the same. And then moving over to Pulse, his aim down sight accuracy looks to be exactly the same with the pellet spread along with his hip fire as well. Now, although we don't see anything changing, it is clear that these shotguns are now not in the same league as the other ones that we've tested. And although the Supernova was already kind of in that superior league, it is definitely the case that we now have three really superior shotguns and the other ones are lagging behind. So I do wonder what will happen in the future if these ones will also get some love. Or of course, maybe they're already performing perfectly well. Anyway, guys, that leads us into the conclusion of this video. And it's pretty simple, although quite complex. As some of the shotguns have definitely gone up a tier in capabilities, some have stayed the same, and some are getting worse. Remember with Pulse and Frost here, they're getting increased recoil when they're doing multiple shots in a row, and as a result, they've actually been nerfed because they haven't received any of the other buffs that have come in this. And that means if you're just watching this video to figure out what is the most OP shotguns next season, it's going to be the Supernova. It's got slightly better, but it was already incredible. The ITA-12L has been significantly buffed. And then the SGQCB has been brought up to the same level as the Supernova, making it a top tier shotgun as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.